What's going on, TMF family? We have been crushing it, making bank, using the bread recipe. And yes, I'm down here in beautiful Disney World, checking it out. Maybe we should buy a little Disney stock. What do you guys think? It looks nice back there. Anybody want to guess where I am staying at based off of this? Some of you Disney heads out there will know. It's one of my favorite places to stay. And of course, we got a lot to talk about. We got a lot to discuss, but this is about the TMF family today. We're talking to long dated treasuries. People are wondering what's going on. The SoFi making bank. We're making lots of cash off of that. The PayPal, all kinds of other things. So I'm going to discuss some of these, but before we do, make sure you're taking advantage of the, what do we got? You guys know what it is. It is the course. If you haven't used code MO, M O E to take advantage of that, to join to get lifetime access please do you're going to get access to the course all the new materials as well as the course discord forever and the price is going up as we add those new materials which is going to happen pretty soon uh we got a lot of big things dr stock adding a, a section here soon we got a lot of things going on but yeah i want to talk about the tmf so it's going to be a little bit of a different video because i have to do it on the computer because that's the information. So you're gonna see me doing that and then we will bring that to you. So until I get back there, make sure you take advantage of that. Get in over there at the Patreons, join me there. You can join here on YouTube as well. And we're gonna see how much money we can make. The bread recipe is crushing it and it's only getting better. With the magic of editing, boom, here we are, family. We are in here. Take a look at yesterday. You can see what happened. We are green across the board. Russell down a little bit. Neo jumping. We're seeing a little bit of quantitative easing over in China, which we talked about. But today, the video, I want to actually look at the 20-year treasury and SoFi. As you can see with TMF, I told you that it was going to be down. I told you that we are going to see some consolidation over the next few days. I am not panicking at all. If anything, I've been loading up on more of the 20 year plus treasuries. Uh, this time though, yesterday, just to let you know, I did buy TLT. I actually sold a bunch of other stocks, uh, T-Bill to get out and move into, uh, into TLT. So the barbell I'm moving from short term into the longer dated treasuries. So I bought that during the day and actually bought it at a good price because it ended up moving up higher over the day. So I'm happy with that. And of course, SoFi, a lot of people were wondering, Mo, what's going on with SoFi? You in it, you out, are you selling? Folks, I, for those who have been with me, we made bank over this month. It's a 45.92%. I told everyone I was getting into it. I've been riding this thing higher. I did a, I think it was around $40,000 worth of the stock altogether. And it's run up. We're making bank off it, continues to make bank. And I took 25%. I said, I have sold. I sold some of this, took some profit. It's the ultimate flex. And so a lot of people are concerned. Oh my God, but most sold. We're not diming handing things. If you're watching this channel, you're watching it because we know how to take profit. We know when to buy. We know when to get in. We're kicking the doors down from Wall Street. The retail investor is allowed to show up now, and I'm going to be the person helping people get there. So first things first, let's look at what we were seeing. I told you what to expect with SoFi back when it was down in the sevens and eights. You can see we crossed the bread recipe right here. We confirmed. Uh, and of course, it's a weak confirmation here, but you could have confirmed right at that candle, uh, which would have been 734 a share, which we're now up to 966. Uh, if you waited for the big confirmation, it would have came on December uh, what is that? December 1st. And of course, that was around 785. I bought in this range and it rolled up nicely. I wanted to take advantage of the 13 cross and the 50 on the SoFi. My SoFi stock price prediction was a stop loss at 720. I said, if we got down to 720 or lower, I'll take it as a loss. I really did believe we were going to hit above 880 and I'll start taking profit at 880 or above. And I was I took a major position in this. We're talking $40,000 to ride this thing up. Now, at this point, I sold, once it had this big pop, I did take 25% of the shares, sold them, kept 75% of the shares, which means over 30 something thousand dollars. And now we saw another pop up. Now it's back up. And at this point, I, everybody said, when are you gonna sell more, Mo? I told you I would sell a couple more, probably 25% more once we hit $10 a share. So for those wondering, on my SoFi stock price prediction, when I'm taking money, folks, I'm looking at this right here. This $10 uh, line is, let's draw that line. Let's get fancy family. We're allowed to, because we're going to make some money. Uh, and so basically, this is the line in the sand, 999. One, if we get above that line, we broke 999, which would be 10 or higher. So that's the line we need to get above. 
and we're closing in on it. So I think over the next, and I told everybody when they said, when do you think it's going to happen? I said, before the end of the first week of January, we will have this tested and broke. And at that point, even if it's a wick, I want to make sure I'm ready to sell at least 25% of the shares. Uh, and then I'll have 50% of the original investment. But remember, that means over $10 a share that we're up 25% on my money. And that is huge. And then I would set a stop loss, which we'll talk about in future videos. But I did want to bring this to your attention that the SoFi stock price prediction of $10 over the next three weeks is something that I am playing. I believe we're going to get there. It's, going to be, it's not going to be a Christmas miracle. It's going to be a Christmas feast, and we're going to make bank off of that. Now, the next play, a lot of people are concerned about TMF. Mo, oh, it was down. Oh, the TMF family. It's over. It's fallen. Who told you? on thursday that after that run up we tested the bollinger we broke the rsi that it was going to take three to four candles before we would have the next leg up to a new high i did i came out anybody sees red the, the bears get all excited folks it's the typical tmf monday we are down on monday and today i absolutely expect to make bank off of it i expect it to start moving up or at least sideways and then after about three to four days off of the i'd say the friday candle so monday tuesday wednesday Thursday, I believe Friday into next week, Christmas week, it will be a Christmas miracle. It will be a Christmas feast. We should see TMF break the recent highs around 66.27. And I believe that over the next three to four weeks, we'll say by the end of January, this thing should be up another 10% from where we're at now to test $70 a share. As long as things go the way we need them to and the, the technicals don't reverse on us, we'll be good. If inflation stays, uh, what we're seeing, you know, it's going down. We're seeing inflation go down, which is good. We're seeing the Fed being hot or dovish. I don't even know. I haven't used the word in so long. I had to, I messed it up there, but being dovish, that's where we start to make the money. And so for TMF, I'm not getting out, folks. I don't plan on taking profit on this until we get up there around that $80 range or we have a reversal here. If we have a reversal, yes, I do take profit. I get out, I ride it down as a bear, and then I'll move back in once it reverses back up. But that's something I'm watching on, and it would have to be a, con a confirmed reversal. But I don't see that happening for a while. We might get down there and test a few things and have ups and downs, but right now, there's no reason for this to have to go ahead and turn into a, oh, the Fed's gonna tighten, everything's getting worse, and this should crash down. This should be one of the easiest plays. And I'm going to say this, TLT is for the long term for me. I would mess around with TMF, but not TLT. I'm going to hold TLT. And unless inflation gets crazy and I can see it running up and it's going wild, then I'm just going to hold on to TLT. But if we see an absolute increase in inflation, maybe energy prices are spiking and it's going to be passed on, then I might get out of TLT, TMF, move it back into T-bill until we have a reversal again and ride TMF and T-bill. Uh, TLT back up. Family, that's the plan. That's the game plan. We're, we're at the buffet. We're allowed to eat all we want to eat. Uh, and guess what? who's there with us? Jay Powell, we bought him a ticket to the buffet. He wants to eat with us, believe it or not. People think he's evil and he doesn't want to eat. He's out with us. It's Christmas. He brought his muskrat souffle. We got a little unicorn pot pie as well. It's something new he wanted to bring for dessert. We'll try it. We'll dip into it. We'll see. But family, a lot of money to be made out there. And uh, I, I hope you are making cash. So if I run it up, I got other plays. If you haven't joined the Stock Mo and the Stock Squad Patreon, please do join us over here. The links are down below. If you want to see what I'm buying and selling, the Stock Mo Patreon has that. And of course, join over at the course. Like I said, get in there today before the price goes higher. Code MOE to save a ton. Buy yourself the gift of learning technicals. This course is awesome. And it's absolutely a lifetime. You get in there for a lifetime, all new materials, the courses uh, Discord, you get access to all of it, lifetime. So take advantage of it, family. All right, folks, that's what I got for you today. I appreciate you stopping by. Let's get out there and make some money.